Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. In today's video we are going to be doing these brand new uh, Kimara event boss. So this event boss once again is super easy especially if you do have this humans team. If you do not have a uh, Mixer you can replace her with Red Slater. Let me show you quickly. With this Red Slater, the SR base one. Because it will help you create and it means everyone else will do it. just a tiny bit more damage. So for Cold Turts we are running of course increase human allies attack by 3% for each human ally. Uh, we're going to gear now as well. So for gear, we have HP defense, attack crit, attack crit, and HP defense. Uh, the order I have them placed in is for auto. So if you want to auto this boss, this is the placement you want the characters in. So Eskinor will kill the first phase, and then these two combined can kill the second phase. Uh, the reason you have Mixer here is because uh, the game will prioritize the debuff skill. Mixer has a debuff skill, so does Arthur. So I have the Arthur on the far left, so it will pick the far right skill, which is, of course, Mixer's skill. And uh, yeah, you don't try any food. Links don't really matter. Well, as long as your characters have high attack, that's what really matters. Uh, of course, if you are going to run Estor Slayer, you do probably want to put Red Tarmil on him. Because I feel like he, he will take a lot of damage. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's just stick it on auto. And yeah, th this boss is super easy. Of course, this is like a 2 slash 3 turn. It's not 100% always two turn. There are very rare occasions where it can be a three turn auto, but 99% of the time it is just a two turn auto, which is quite good. The only time it's not normally is when you pull a Mixer Merger and another Mixer Debuff skill. And it merges. So we just auto it. It will prioritize the Debuff skill. There we go. And then we just play her AoE, which is absolutely nothing. She's just got SR gear, that, the perfect SR gear that I just engraved on her. Because she doesn't really need good gear. And then Eskinor, because he's got super high crit chance. Could just vaporize it. There we go. So preferably mergers wise, you want another Eskinor single target. If you don't get another Eskinor single target, that's completely fine. You don't need it, it's just kind of a want. So sorry, it's just kind of something oh, you want, it's not really something you need. Uh, we're fine here, because it's just going to do this, which will kill. This is the 100% like guarantee, like... If you get really bad RNG, this is what... Well, not really bad, but let's like mid RNG, we don't get any mergers. Because like, Roxy puts out a lot of damage. The only problem is, is that you kind of do want Roxy's Relic. If you don't have Roxy's Relic, you may struggle a little bit. Of course, you don't have Mikasa, you may struggle a little bit more. You could probably just go with Sins, honestly. You could just do auto it with Sins. Humans do more damage, they do 30% more damage to this boss, which I should have probably mentioned at the start. Humans do 30% more damage, that is the reason I'm running Humans. Also, this boss has a lot of crit resistance, so uh, of course you've got Red Slayer, who's quite good at lowering that, plus Humans do more damage, you've got Chaos Arthur, you've got Null for me, even if you really need to, you could run Null for me, because he's quite good. You know, if you don't have Mixa, you could technically also run Kidna as well, if you still want, you know, that uh, that stat boost, instead of ha having to level up Slayer and make specific gear for Slayer. Because of course, if you are going to use Red Slayer, you do have to make specific gear for him. Uh, of course, I have a, a guide on that Red Slayer how to build anyway. But thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next one. Goodbye.